This year's presidential race is encouraging an enthused electorate. People are passionate about politics, but participation in the process has its rules. KFDM's Angel San Juan joins us tonight in the studio with the do's and the don'ts of political activism. This issue surfaced in Southeast Texas October 11th when a firefighter drove a Silsby fire truck flying a Trump flag in a political parade. Last week, the chief of the volunteer fire department said they will no longer take part in political activities. Still, there are many organizations that engage in campaigning without knowing whether they can or not. Silsby Fire Chief Robin Jones is not only talented at extinguishing fires, I'll deeply apologize for but also at putting out controversy. Chief Jones did just that by apologizing for allowing two taxpayer-funded fire vehicles to participate in a political parade Sunday, October 11th, while flying Trump flags. All this responsibility lies on me. It does not rely on nobody else. It's all mine. Did I make the wrong decision? Yes, I did. At a meeting of the board of directors that oversees the volunteer fire department, not only did the chief say he was sorry, the decision was made that the department will no longer be involved in political activities. Attorney David Barlow says that's a wise move. If you want to err on the side of caution and make sure there are no problems whatsoever, even if you would be successful in it, you just don't want to fight that battle, then yes, it's probably best to have a, for the organization to have a policy not to do that. Um, th then if they don't do it, then there's no risk of, of any problems in the future, any lawsuits in the future, anything like that. But the Silsby Volunteer Fire Department really did not have a choice because of its IRS classification. For example, under Section 501c3 of the Internal Revenue Service Code, if you are tax exempt under that section, then you are not able to participate in any political endeavors at all. That's the same status as churches, but Barlow says there are nonprofits that are exempt from paying some federal income taxes and still can be politically active. Those include some volunteer fire departments. Most of them are 501, C4, C5, and C6. The, a volunteer fire department falls, can fall under C4, and if it is considered a social welfare organization, then it actually can uh, engage in political activity, even if they don't own their equipment, even if they do own their equipment. Public sector employees face similar restrictions on when and where they display their political preferences. If an employee, such as a secretary of any type of governmental uh, uh, agency or the city or anything like that, is at their job at their city supplied desk, which is obviously taxpayer funded, and has political statements on the desk, well, that employee is acting as an agent of the city, not as an individual. But as far as what's on this person's bumper stickers on their cars or whatever, or window stickers in their cars in the parking lot, that's different because then they're acting as an independent. Uh, individual or a private citizen. A fine line between respecting individual freedom without promoting politics on the public's dime. And attorney David Barlow says there are for-profit and non-profit organizations that may have policies prohibiting staff members from participating in anything political in nature even if they're legally allowed to engage in that sort of activity. Tiffany. Thanks Angel. 